there is something that I notable I missed earlier. Now let's see if to rewind this a bit for you see it was actually this person who appeared after I cleared out the whiskey distillery place and there is a sack by the cold rack now he seems chill enough right now but I grab the sack, he will turn hostile and pull out the gun from somewhere. But there's no reason to be hostile. We're all friends here, right? Right. And somehow it turns into a green battle. Like <coughs> uh, night. Oh. Oh dear. It was still enough to get him angry. So let's... Okay, I would like to change of camera angle. Okay, now let's... Give him the whiskey again and this time wait for the animation to play out to the end. <coughs> he drinks the whiskey, he kills over and there we go. Hmm. I wonder about that death animation. The first game they all went up in a puff of smoke, here they sink into the ground and what we read about that uh, contract from for the musician said that he would return to the galleon and be sheltered there and I guess I believe the galleon is in a cavern underneath the house so maybe that's where they go anyway Sack and we get the best disguise since the time I wore a preserved squid on my head in the legacy. And for whatever reason, this quite handily uh, comes the little chef here. Know that wine may open many a door. And here we have another chef, and the frying pan is in fact a weapon. And it's 
du ziehst. Get rid of him. After hanging around here for a bit, he would turn hostile anyway. As you can see, that's the blowgun. No, not the fellow with, with the blowgun. And my health is low enough that it is time for a drink. Mm, can't do anything with the oven. Hmm. Let's see. The frying pan there. Aha! Your lips so with a net poison. Ah. And there is wine. And. Should be able to somehow open this. I guess I need a key I do not possess currently. Oh, also, let's take that. Mm. Okay, it's set. This is, well, this is not locked. Once I set down the poisoned wine, hmm. seems like worth using the riot gun. Green. <sighs> hmm. You know what? I'll go. Oh, I come um, to think of it. I don't. I don't think I will go into the kitchen since I want to see those guys.
Oh, that only appeared when I inserted the token. Okay, I seem to remember something about this bit. Okay, I use another token and this opens up. Seems a bit odd. Hello. Ooh. I guess it's a good thing I have to be carrying that extra clip from the beginning. And here's another clip. Hmm. So I guess there's not really anything to with these tokens, but this... Ah, don't mind if I do take that double. And actually, now that the cooks are gone, I suppose there is no reason to keep this disguise on. Ah. Christmas tree. Now, he... This room we want to avoid because there are... Many enemies here. If I used the uh, bulletproof vest, I could tank it. Oh, yeah, I'll use the, the Thompson out. And, and yeah, I'll use the Thompson there. But there is another way to get rid of those guys in that room. Um, something here, and I think I have... Oh, I do have one burst left there. Maybe I should still reload. Oh, reload the gun. and I raise you a Tommy gun. Ah. Huh. Okay, I guess we have magical again. Forced fair play or something. Don't you know how to enchant a thing? Well, fine. Frying pan to the face, then. Hmm. 
somehow I touch you or maybe I don't. Automatic organ where I used to talk and should be some there was that one closet looking thing which is actually a fold up bed and should be able to somehow should be able to place something in front of it and then some enemy will come out of the next room I suppose and now stop to pick that up or something and then, then the bed will slam down on you. But hey okay, I'm back to where I was previously. Uh, plus a bit more that stuff taken care of in the first floor. So Yep. It's a sword cane takes care of these fellows. And I get to pick up whatever it is on that on pedestal. Oh, another parchment. I imagine this would be the other half. Okay, what do you have to tell me? Chess and magic. If the White Queen seeks the throne, the king must empower her. May the amulet laid in the center of the sign open the doorway to space. That is the key to the royal gambit. Translator's note. This Gaelic poem might have helped Crowley to defeat Tartakover, the man who fed the devil in the box with gold. Fed the devil in the box with gold. Amulet in the center of the sign. Okay, I think part of that is the amulet in the center of the sign. I seem to recall that would be, well, maybe this is the sign. Mm -hmm. But, feed the demon in the box with gold. Okay, not the 
pick a bubble item. <coughs> Them in the box with gold. I think I don't have this doubloon. Like, what does he do with it? might go into this box maybe from the side hmm this side and what other stuff do I have loading the, the bloom loading clip blah 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 Hmm, a crown. Okay, I can try to use it, but... Hmm, and a plate of fried egg. I think that's a health refill. Hmm. I still have no idea what, what you are supposed to do with the hook. So that actually does nothing. Put the devil in the box with gold. Hmm. Well, speaking of chess and stuff, it occurred to me that maybe. Well, we have a crown. Kings and queens wear crowns. Maybe use the crown here. Um, okay, let's read that. Oh, and I suppose I'll just read that to get it named in the inventory. Chess and magic. If the white queen seeks the throne. The king must empower her. Wait. The king must empower the white queen. There was a... Hmm. A white bust of a woman. And... Maybe it was some, somewhere else. Now that is what I was thinking of. position inside the stand. How I guess that means I'm supposed to set the crown on whatever the white white queen is. Here, and I have no idea what to do with that. Okay, I believe we now I have at this point. I have to figure out how to move this. Hmm. Well, might be time to check the walkthrough through again. Ah oh, well, but this has been a lengthy video already, so, ta for now!